This is actually Phil's man cave. This is where I spend most of my time. Phil Powell is getting a charge out of retirement. And this is a Wimhurst generator. The self-avowed geek who worked as an electrical engineer for Dominion for 40 years still likes to tinker. It'll produce about 75,000 volts. Since retiring in 2016, the golden years allow Mr. Powell to spend more time on his hobbies in his Chesterfield home. I tend to love to build things ever since I was a kid. These days, the 68-year-old dedicates most of his energy during the season of giving and beyond to a place halfway around the world. This I keep this picture because it reminds me of uh, why I go over and, and work with the schools when we're over there. 14 years ago, Mr. Powell's daughter told him about Engineers Without Borders. It makes up the majority of my motivation to get up in the morning and do things. The nonprofit EWB builds a better world through infrastructure projects that help people meet their basic human needs. It was, it was kind of became the focus for my retirement and the happiness of retirement. In 2009, Mr. Powell traveled to Uganda in Africa, packing decades of experience. First trip was for uh, two and a half weeks. On the ground, he started sharing his wealth of knowledge in solar power. Electrical engineering. Yep. It would be the first of many journeys. Mr. Powell returns to the country two to three times a year. The engineer has volunteered with Engineers Without Borders in three different countries. The primary ones uh, that I've worked with are Kenya, Uganda, and Ghana. Mr. Powell helps build and install solar powered devices at elementary schools. We have probably eight school projects where we put up maybe about three or four kilowatts of solar panels on a school roof. During his more than 20 trips, Mr. Powell has worked with other professional engineers and students from Virginia Tech. A large portion of Uganda still is not within reach of a utility system. He has also helped equip medical centers and orphanages with electricity. What's really satisfying is to see that the one that we put in in 2009 is still working today. His efforts even help farmers generate water to grow their crops year-round. What we're talking about right now is how to hook up the pump. And they live, to a large extent in these areas, garden to table. So if this doesn't work, people get hungry. Mr. Powell considers his excursions to Africa his calling. They uh, thank you in a way you just can't explain. Yeah, so that, that's, that's really the gratification of it. He is leaving the world a better place by staying plugged in. Some of them are just like family members, so you really get attached to that. Get Phil done. Powell, the electrical engineer, with a current of kindness running through him. I encourage people to find something they really believe in to do and just stay focused on it. It'll change your mind and your attitude and the way you feel about life in general. In addition to his volunteer work, Phil and his wife Liz have been sponsoring a young girl named Zakia for three years, helping pay for her education. Phil heads back to Africa in March. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.